This video is going to be super duper simple. We're going to make a palm rig. To understand how this is going to work, let's take a quick look at the bones of the hand. Everyone knows that hands have finger bones. But what many people forget is that we also have bones extending back through the palm of the hand, one corresponding to each finger. These bones don't have nearly the independent mobility that fingers do, but they can still move together to bend the hand. You see this a lot, for example, in very tight fist poses, where the knuckles form a curve. This is because those palm bones are moving to form that curve. So what we'd like to do is make a single, simple control that lets the animator control that bending. When that control rotates, we would like the palm of the hand to bend in a natural way. And as always, there are multiple ways we can accomplish this. We could use action constraints or drivers, or, as we're going to do, we could use simple copy rotation constraints. If you imagine that the hand is like this, then we can have the palm bone on the far side from the thumb serve as the control. So we can just constrain the other palm bones to it with a copy rotation constraint. Now, of course, we don't want them to copy the world space rotations, we want them to copy the rotation in their local spaces. So switch all the constraints to local space. Now when we rotate on the bone's x-axis, the other bones also rotate on their x-axes. Now we can adjust the influence of the constraints on the other bones to create a natural bend. The first bone actually doesn't need any influence, so we can just remove the constraint entirely. And now we just need to tweak the others. It's important to set the influences to create a curve, not a line. And now we can set the control to use Euler, and lock its axes. And we're done! This is a really good example of a super simple rig that does its job well. There is no reason to make things complex if they don't need to be.